Okay, I'll be doing an uh, accuracy video on this uh, CL2 meter, old lens and gear meter. Um, this meter will be from 1960. I don't think it's ever been tested, so we're just going to see uh, what the accuracy is. The meter constant is 600 revs per kilowatt hour, while the standard I'm using, I'll just get the camera up there now. The standard is a Landis & Gear TVH4-32 and I'm in the 5 10 ampere range which is on this column here. 600,000 impulses for a 1 kilowatt hour. So when the meter clocks up 10 revolutions I should uh, get a number of uh, 10,000, 20 revs. 20,000 and so on and I'll show you the formula later on too. So I'm going to do a test now I haven't started the test yet. This was just running for warming the instruments up So I'm going to put it in position The meter is a 10 30 ampere so 10 is nominal. That's the base current 30 ampere maximum So I'm going to do a few tests with 10 revolutions and 20 revolutions and work out the error So just about ready Start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stop. Let's have a look at the TVH. And the reading here is uh, 9707. So that means the meter is running a little bit fast. Okay, we're going to start the second test here. Start. 1, 2, 3, this is in Dutch, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll check the reading again. And we got nine six nine three. So it's pretty close to the first reading. Okay, the next text test I'll be doing is uh, half log, so that's about 5 ampere. And we should get the same amount of uh, pulses for 10 revolutions. So I'll start the test again. Meter will run roughly half speed. Start. One. Two. Three, four, five. Show the standard quickly. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Stop. Ten. The reading is nine seven two zero. Okay, I'll repeat the last test again. Start. Four, five, 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And the reading is uh, nine, six, nine, seven. Okay, now I'm going to do the creep test, so the meter is not supposed to make a full rotation. There's no load applied, so I will stop it short. And the mark is at the front. Let's get the test load a bit closer. Stop. And now we'll wait. And the meter is not supposed to make a full revolution. Normally this anti-creep holes in the disc, so then the disc will either make half a turn and centers itself. While this process is going on, I lower the camera and uh, the wiring is uh, basically, zoom out a bit, active coming in on the brown wire. The red one is load wire to the machine, to the TVH. The black wire is the neutral and uh, this clip is the pickup so that supplies the machine so the load of the machine is not measured through the um, meter. I'm going back up to the meter and I don't think it has moved at all. Uh, instead of making the video very long the meter has not moved at all so the creep is fine. And I'll show you the formula how to calculate out the errors. Okay, the measurements where I've done four tests. A 10 ampere test and a 5 ampere test. These were the numbers. And the errors, the meter was out of specs. 3%, 3.08, 3.16, 2.88, 3.12. The variation in the readings is probably because me pushing the start stop button. That's this thing. Um, I got an opto reader for this machine for the TVH, but I couldn't find it. Uh, we follow this down and creep nil. The formula is pretty straightforward. Um, meter constant is 600 revs per kilowatt hour, 10 revolutions. 600,000 divided by 600 from the meter times 10 equals 10,000. Um, the error calculation is out of this simple formula. And then we get an example calculation here, and I use the calculator for that. It gives me 3.12%. In the next video, I'll be doing a calibration on this meter and adjust it to within specs, which is not too hard to do. Okay. See part two.